Okay, now I'm going to show you a little bit about trig functions and how they work. Uh, it's not, it's nothing like algebra, I'll tell you that. It's a whole new thing, but it's actually pretty simple. So, there are three of them. We've got sine, cosine, and tangent. And those are the abbreviations. So, they all have respective things that they're equal to, and they're helpful for things like triangles. So, what they're used for is if you have one angle of something, and we'll say that's 40 degrees, 40, And then if we have like one side, this side is obviously three units long. And this side is, you know, 2.5 maybe, we can't tell, and this side it's really hard to see. So we're going to assume we have one angle and one side. And we're going to use these things to figure it out. Now, with the Pythagorean theorem, we had an A and a B and a c and we're going and the way we're going to think about these now the, the tangent or the um trigonometry functions is we're going to say that these are the legs and this is the hypotenuse the hypotenuse is the side opposite of the right angle and the legs are the two sides that make up the right angle so rather than a b and c we're going to give them slightly different names um this one is the hypotenuse. H just stands for hypotenuse. And then this one is adjacent to the angle that we're working with. We're going to imagine that we're right here, a little person. So this is the angle that we're looking at it from. The, the 3 is adjacent to us, so that's the adjacent. And this angle is opposite us. It's the only angle that, or it's the only side that isn't part of this angle. So that's the opposite O. And these things up here, sine, I want to make sure I get this right, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite divided by hypotenuse. The cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And the tangent is opposite over adjacent. And it's kind of hard to write these letters. My A's look exactly like H's, but um, the way I was always taught to remember these is SOKOTOA. You say S O H, like he was an old Indian chief or something, was the story. So. C A H and you see what all this stands for. It's sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and then Toa is T O A. That's what that's what tangent is for. So Sokotoa. And this is useful for finding all the other sides, and you can even use these things kind of backwards to find the um, angles that you're looking for, which obviously this one is 50, you can just, you know, subtract 90. So say we're trying to find this opposite, uh, this opposite side. We're the, yeah, the opposite side here. We're um, we're at 40, and we have the adjacent. So opposite and adjacent, we're going to go opposite and adjacent. We need tangent. So we write tangent. Of 40 degrees is equal to the opposite is what we don't know, so that's an x divided by 3. We know that this is true now. And we're going to rearrange it so that x is by itself. We're going to multiply by 3, so 3 times tangent, that stuff equals x. And that you just punch in your calculator. So 
I'm going to reach over and grab it quick. Any luck, I'll still have batteries in it from school. Yes, I do. So I, I just type 3, the tangent button is T-A-N, and 40 in the parentheses if you're using an uh, TI-83. The, the tangent and everything is right above the numbers. And it comes out, on mine at least, to 2.5, let's round it to 1.7. And that is, you know, it just about agrees with what we see here. We see 1, 2, 3, or, or 2 and a half, almost 3. So we can say that that's probably right. The math seems to work out. Um, so that's how you use the tangent one, and let's say we were looking for h this time. And if we have our 3, and we have the 40 degrees that we're standing at, then um, and we're looking for h. So we need something that has a and h in it. a and h is cosine, cosine a h. That's how we know to use cosine. We write it out, cosine of 40 degrees. is equal to the thing we know, which is 3, over the thing we don't know, which we'll write as x. And then the algebra to get x by itself is we're going to multiply by x and then divide by cosine 40. And I'll just assume you know enough about algebra to, to expand that out if you need to. I'm going to just rewrite it quickly as x equals 3 over uh, cosine 40. And um, if the x is on the bottom, you end up just switching the x and the cosine part, or the x and the trig function. So then to type that in, 3 divided by cosine 40, it gives me a little over 3, 3.9, and that about agrees with what we would estimate over here, because if that's our angle of 40 and we, you know, carry it down, then it's 3, 4, yeah, looks good. And I'm about, I'm roughly out of time, so I think I'll save using it backwards for the next video, but uh, that's how you go about, if you have an angle and a side, that's how you go about using it. And, and it doesn't have to be an adjacent side, you know, if you had if you had the 2.9 that you were starting with, or the 2.5, then you would be able to find the hypotenuse and this one just using these. So, there you go. Have fun.